And welcome back. The Ozarks Fall Farm Fest is going on this weekend. And to talk to us about it is the host from the tailgate. Yeah, from, from the tailgate, yeah. Jamie Johansson, live from the fairgrounds. Hello, Jamie. We were talking a little bit earlier saying that this is hey, usually... Hey, Tom, you got to get the name right, from the tailgate. <laughs> from, that's, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I backed up. But I, I mean, this is, we were discussing a little bit earlier, this is something that like tons of people come out to. I, you know, suppose the same as being expected for this weekend. Absolutely. Are you jealous of this sunshine? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Well, we are actually here at the 41st Ozarks Fall Farm Fest with Lance. Lance, have you ever missed a farm fest? I actually have not. That <laughs> may be a sign of my age, and maybe I started it not at the age of nine, but I actually have been here every year. I started uh, in 1980 for Farm Talk Newspaper, which was a co-sponsor of the event, and I've been here every year since. So, yes, I've seen it all at the Ozark Fall Farm Fest. Well, we are acres of acres of indoor and outdoor exhibits, but Take us back to what is Farm Fest and what attracts people here year after year. Sure, Farm Fest is a general interest agricultural trade show. Uh, it's mainly based on agriculture, lots of uh, exhibits oriented in that direction, but certainly some rural living exhibits too and some, uh, some exhibits even for the city folks to come out and see. Well, you mentioned the diversity of attendees. How many year after year come? Because, I mean, this weather is amazing. Yeah, usually it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 to 65,000. This is a little different year, so it may be a few less than that. But it, it's always a very nice show with lots to see and do. Well, I know that uh, the 2020 has brought us uh, lots of changes, but we are having a farm fest this year. What have you done to adapt that keep people safe? We are having a farm fest. We've tried to be very conscious of the COVID issues. We actually have a lot more hand washing, washing stations here at the show. We have uh, hand sanitizer anywhere people need it. Uh, we're trying to get people to wear masks out here. Uh, just anything that's oriented in that direction. Outside, it's not such a big deal, or not as much, because there's a lot of, uh, lot of acreage here. People can stay back six feet from anyone they're talking to. Inside, a little bit more of an issue. Uh, we're actually counting the number of people that go into the EPLEX mm -hmm. and uh, regulating that. Uh, where it's been very crowded in the past, we're regulating it so it's more COVID friendly this year. Well, you mentioned attendees and exhibitors. Let's talk about the diversity of exhibitors because I know I'm exhibiting livestock, but I see tractors and lawnmowers and other working facilities for animal sure, handling. Sure, a little bit of everything to see. Uh, certainly big machinery, tractors, as you said. Not so many combines in this area, but tractors, a lot of hay equipment, uh, smaller equipment as in the livestock handling equipment, squeeze chutes, alleyways, tubs, that type thing. Uh, just anything to do with handling livestock and lots of complementary businesses, uh, seed, feed, insurance, just anything along those lines is available to see here at the show. Well, when I come to this event, I learn something new every time. So I know that education's got to be a, a key component, whether you're learning about the product you're interested in buying or just building a relationship with somebody. You bet. I think education is on display here, both for city folks that actually get to see a taste of the country and kind of see how some of that works, but also even for your established agribusiness people, your farmers, ranchers, uh, computer technology is rampant in the ag industry. It's, ev it's quite evident in the, uh, the tractors that they run, the combines they run. So even the established farmers and ranchers can stand to learn something here at Farm Fest. And find something they probably need to take home. You bet. So Which three full the days. Goal of the exhibitors. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Three full days. When um, is, does it open? When does it close? And when can people come out? On uh, today's Friday, a beautiful day today here at the show. Good crowds. Opened at 9 this morning, closes at 5 today. Same hours tomorrow, Saturday, 9 to 5, and then Sunday, 9 to 4. Well, come out and see us uh, this weekend at Farm Fest. I'll be here all week. All right, all weekend. Wow, that's a lot. That'll be a fun weekend for you, though. That, I'll tell you, I live near the north side, yeah. and it is crowded. That oh. is a crowded event. This year may be a little bit different, mask up, but it is a well-attended deal, I'll tell you. They do it right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a new season of Frightly News is upon Ooh. us, and we'll be talking with Tony Wynn about it right after this.